Today we're going to be showing you how to get the best possible sound when it comes to making your YouTube videos or podcasts. So I'm going to show you in this video what the equipment that I use when it comes to voiceovers. I'm also going to be showing you how I edit my audio. Yes, I will finally show you. And uh, let's check out the XLR cable now. Since uh, most microphones don't come with XLR cables, we're going to check out this Fifine one. This is the V2. So you know Fifine, they make great quality stuff. I think it's fairly new because I haven't seen anyone talk about it or I haven't even seen it myself. SC3 is going to be looking like it's kind of in an awkward position because you do have the power going from one side and the XLR going on the other. Technically, you can have it faced out like this, but then the XLR is going to be pushed out or you can have it pushed out like this and the cable will be bent. As the uh, SE3 has both inputs on the back, so everything is routed through the back, which is a better way. I'm not too sure why they didn't decide to do it like that. I will have a comparison between this version uh, audio board as well as the SC1 AmpliTank, just to tell you which one is better. On the actual volume here, you do have your gain knob for microphone, which is easily adjustable. You have the instrument gain volume knob right here, and you do have your output volume right here. On the front, I guess you could say, is the mic input for XLR. 48 volt, which is turned on right now, which is illuminated green. You can switch between the microphone or instrumental by pressing this. Right now it's on instrumental, and then it's back to microphone. Instrumental input, and then you do have your headphone input and monitoring for headphone volume right there. Direct monitor button right there. Right now it's off, right now it's on. And then you do have the power indicator. Now this does actually illuminate to different colors. Whenever you have, you know, somewhat close to yellow, it has yellow, and then whenever you have red, it'll actually illuminate red. And I was speaking to my microphone right now, but that's what that is. It's very nice when it comes to that. So you know when you're peaking or when you're not. So we're gonna go ahead and test this out here and show you the sound quality of what it's like. So it's pretty simple to actually set up, but you can plug it into pretty much any USB-C port or any USB-A port possible. And then you just go to your recording settings and find the microphone that says Fifine SC1. And you can uh, pretty much start from there. So let's go ahead and start it. Voice over recorder, basically. Now this is an XLR input for your XLR microphones. If you do have the AM8 or if you do have this version microphone, any version microphone with an XLR input or you're deciding to upgrade finally, this is definitely one of the best ones that you can possibly get. So this is what it sounds like when you're editing the audio. Uh, it's very, very good when it comes to editing the audio. I always use the same settings when I'm editing it and I'm finally gonna tell you guys how I do that. You can see it right here. Just in a little quick noise cancellation test. That's on the first mode. On the second mode, this is how it's gonna sound with if you have a lot of ambient noise, I guess you could say, like a fan in the background on a summer day or console going on or your PS5 going on. This is what it's gonna sound like. And then the third setting is what it's gonna sound like on, you know, a loud fan, like your ceiling fan or something crazy going on. That's what it's gonna sound like. All right, chat, are you all ready for this? We're finally gonna be telling you how we edit our audio to make it sound as good as possible. Obviously, this is mostly in post-production. You can't really do it too much when it comes to like a streaming software like Streamlabs like this, but I will go into that a little bit. But for Final Cut Pro or DaVinci Resolve, I'm gonna be showing you very briefly on how to edit audio. So there's two ways. So you grab your audio right here, which is basically just completely raw audio, right? You can press this little equalizer button button and then you can adjust it accordingly. A lot of people love to go bring the first uh, first and last bands pretty much all the way to the bottom. You can do up to 31 bands on Final Cut Pro or 10 bands and then on DaVinci Resolve I think it's only six bands if I'm not mistaken. You can choose between presets here. So you got voice enhanced, music enhanced, hum reduction, bass boost, bass reduced, treble boost, and treble reduced. I love to use treble boost preset when it comes to audio making. If you want to go even more in depth, what I like to do is actually play back some audio and adjust it accordingly to get the best possible sound specifically for your voice. So you're going to have to go up and down, whatever sounds better, and then you just keep playing with it. If you want more bass, you're gonna increase the bass. If you want less bass, you're gonna decrease the bass. If you want more treble, if you want less, you can decrease it. But yeah, it's pretty simple when it comes to that. That's how I usually edit audio when it comes to the part. But a lot of people love the way I sound 
when I edit my audio on specific microphones, I always use treble boost. I increase it to about four to six. I don't go too high. And then I also add a little bit of voice isolation in Final Cut Pro, like 10 to 15% max. And that's it. That's literally it. <laughs> that's how you get really good sounding audio when it comes to, you know, voiceovers or podcasting. You can easily have a flat sounding microphone sound crazy good and crazy expensive just by those three quick buttons and then you just easily copy and paste to multiple different videos or sections. I always use that same on all of my audio. Yeah, it does take out the bass in your voice, but in the end, it sounds way better than what it previously sounded like. There's another way I'm gonna show you on DaVinci Resolve quickly on how to edit audio very quickly. Um, and then I'll also show you on CapCut or on phone or tablet or on iPad or whatever on how to edit your audio if you decide to use certain methods like that. Because I know a lot of people edit audio and then we're going to go to EQ filter. And this is where the bands are as well. And this is the sim similar to the Final Cut Pro. It just doesn't look as uh, uh, good as Final Cut Pro. This one, you can move it pretty much anywhere. I think they did update this one. That's probably why. It's been like a year since I've edited it on uh, DaVinci Resolve. But same same uh, resonance. And it does have smooth curves when it comes to the audio. And it shows you uh, how big that frequency is when it's spreading it out. It's an S curve, basically. I gave my, my secret sauce to you guys. So drop a like on the video just because of that. So I'm gonna show you how to easily edit audio off of your phone, iPad, or anything else like that. Right now we do have the XLR right here and it's connected with a USB-C directly to the iPad. As you can see, just like that. So it's connected right now to the XLR. I'm gonna show you how to record as well as uh, edit the audio directly on your phone or iPad. You can either use a uh, cap cut to record audio like the voiceover right here that I just recorded. Um, and it does have a little section here at the bottom where you can easily press voiceover and start recording. Now, cap cut doesn't have actual editing for audio, you basically only have your re reduced noise, which is free, and then your enhanced voice or isolate voice is a pro feature. So you can't really do anything on CapCut besides recording voiceovers fully raw. If you want them to sound good, you're gonna get audio editor right here, and that's a free app, so you don't have to worry about that. You can record any of your audio in, in the Memos app, which is really cool, so you can easily just press record and it is connected here at the bottom. Let's go to record something. All right, what's going on YouTube? So today in this video, we do have a nice little iPad mini here that we're gonna go ahead and record on. So this is what it sounds like. You can see here on the right when you are talking and when you're not, and when you're peeking, it'll flash red. So there we go and we can press done. Let's go ahead and rename this to voice over. All right, so there we go. We got the voiceover ready. So now we can share this. We can easily share this in directly from memos into the audio editor, editor app. It'll automatically upload it, which was that little check mark in the beginning. Then you can press edit audio. And here it is right there, voiceover. So it instantly shares. You can preview the sound and then we can go ahead and press it, press OK, and input it into uh, CapCut or input it into pretty much any other editing software and use edited audio directly off of your phone or iPad. Pad. So that's the best part of it. Now you can actually edit. It's kind of like Audacity, but for iPad or iPhone. And uh, you can go here at the bottom, press FX. And right here you have everything you have basically on um, Final Cut Pro. So you have reverb, distortion, delay, the equalizer, which is what we normally use. Go ahead and press the check to let you know that it's actually working. Uh, you can change the high pass filter. Uh, gain custom which this custom is the eq so if you're familiar with the frequency hertz or if you just copy um the previous preset band that i showed you earlier you can basically mess around with this however you really want whatever sounds good while it's playing the audio itself then you're good on that now it looks like you do have a subscription for three dollars a month or thirty dollars forever which honestly i think it's worth it considering this doesn't really ever have any ads ever whatsoever but 30 bucks forever is honestly a really good deal if you plan on doing mobile editing this will take it to a step further just and then you can import it into your cap cut have perfect audio edited right there so that's how you edit audio on mobile or ipad that for the new guys hope you guys did enjoy this video on how to make your microphone sound way better i've gotten a lot of comments on it and i thank you guys for 11,000 subscribers it means a lot to me we're on the road to 100k this year so i'm pretty sure we'll try to make it we're gonna go full grind 
but I appreciate all my supporters, all my commenters, all my likers, everything. I appreciate y'all. Much love. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. We out.